All right, well, how's everybody doing? Um, this is going to be a little video here about a new crimp die I got. Um, I'm going to be trying it out and see how it works. Um, this is uh, mainly for the Magnum loads, like 44 Magnum. Also got one for 357s because I've had this problem before. But um, I've been using really exclusively the Lee factory, you know, crimp die for most of my stuff. Um, I mean, I do have a few other different crimp dies but you know this one the leaf factory crimp die it's got the carbide sleeve in it it kind of sizes the bullet a little bit more in the case just kind of makes it you know up to spec to make sure it'll you know chamber in any any gun which is good in some ways it's bad if you're really you know wanting uh really good accuracy and you're because what you're going to do is you're going to resize your you know your bullet uh, somewhat again when it goes through there but anyways this one um, you know this is a uh, roll crimp on, on this Lee factory crimp die and I, I don't know I don't want to get all into it but you know the Lee factory crimp dies I like them this is the roll crimp uh, the other ones I have for the auto loading they're a taper crimp um, so I think it just depends on what the you know caliber is to what kind of crimp they'll put on them but you know it works real good for these as you can see you know my cast loads because you know they've got a crimp groove and you know it just rolls that case right up underneath the crimp groove and you know i've had really good luck shooting these um the problem i ran into is with either jacketed or plated bullets as you can see these are a berries which i picked these up i don't know a couple years ago and i hadn't really shot them and I loaded some up. It's been over a year ago that I, I did this. Um, and you probably can't see it. But, you know, this is one here that, I mean, I put a really hard uh, crimp on it with a leaf factory crimp die, that roll crimp. But, you know, shooting these high magnum, which I say it's a high magnum. I mean, it's not like super hot because they're plated bullets. It's basically the same load I was shooting with these. But even with that, the bullets, uh, they start walking out, walking out of the case. As you can see, this little uh, groove here, this is where I crimped it, and now it's way down here. So, you know, the bullets, they're, they're, as I'm firing the gun, they're not holding. They're walking out of the case. So what did I get? I got the Lee Collet style, which this is more like a, the rifle uh, crimp that you you know you get for the rifle rounds it's a collet style which I don't know if you can see in there but instead of a roll crimp it's the collet it's going to squeeze down you know around you know uh, the the case right there and basically it says uh, you know bullets don't even need a crimp groove that this will make a you know crimp groove you know for it basically that's so so powerful so you know, I don't want to get too carried away with this, um, but I think for, you know, plated and jacketed bullets, uh, you know, that, I mean, the roll crimp is great for the, for the, you know, ones that have a crimp groove. Uh, but, you know, when they don't, or when the crimp groove like this one, it's just a roll crimp when you're shooting magnums, it just, it hasn't been holding for me. So, anyways, this is what I got. This is the Lee Collet crimp die. So enough blabbering. Let's get some of these loaded up and uh, see what happens. Done. Sorry, but okay. So the bullet goes in there. Then you can see it's uh, as I push the lever down. You know the Collet crimp crimps around it, and then after that. You can kind of see, I mean, it, lo it looks like it's got a pretty heavy crimp on it, but trust me, for these bullets, if you're shooting heavy uh, 44 Magnum, you need a good heavy crimp like that. If not, I mean, the bullets will walk loose on you. So, Enforcer, and this is uh, about empty on that. I've been shooting a lot of that. Um, really liking that powder. It does, does good on uh, 44 Magnums too, so... Uh, let's go shoot these and see what happens.
if you can see, but the bullet did not uh, has not walked out at all. So the crimp has worked. It's uh, held it in place. All right, I'll just take a quick look. I did 20 grains of Enforcer, and uh, I got 11.28. Standard deviation of 11, extreme spread 35. So, you know, that was a good load there. It wasn't, uh, wasn't real stout, you know. Um, and even the 21 grains really wasn't, didn't feel too bad. Um, I mean, a little bit higher, about 50 feet per second faster. And that, uh, the gun I was shooting it's only got about a five inch, it's about a five and a half inch barrel. You know, before I was getting really, really terrible. I mean, even, even more than that, you know, extreme spread and stuff. So I think that, uh, you know, call it crimp dies definitely helped out as far as, uh, you know, especially this load um, was pretty, pretty consistent, you know, so 11 feet per second. SD is pretty good I think for that powder but anyways there's a gun I was shooting there it's baby Smith 629 that's a nice shooter right there but anyways I don't know that's all I got quick video thanks for watching see y'all on the next one